took to another uh, Queensland government or another Labor government split, and that's Queensland. We've got another embarrassing gaffe from the Environment Minister who only uh, Thursday last week stood up and approved <coughs> the Adani mine. Let's have a look at her last two comments. <laughs> I tell you what, I mean, they've been told by the electorate in Queensland, Steve, exactly what the people who sign their cheques to pay their way expect from their government. And you've got this, uh, you know, this carry-on, this immature carry-on from someone who should be the minister in charge of a project that's going to bring jobs to Queensland. I would coat hanger her out of the way. That's it. Gone. Yeah, look, I wrote a couple of weeks ago that one of the things that uh, Anastasia Palaszczuk do as a reset as a result of uh, Federal Labor's diabolical result in Queensland was to move uh, Leanne Enoch on from the environment po portfolio and possibly on from Cabinet altogether. And, uh, and if I can say so myself, I think that's looking a little bit fortuitous considering those couple of videos that have come out uh, uh, post the decision to finally approve the Adani coal mine. Look. Uh, Leanne has been struggling in that portfolio ever <laughs> since they put her in there. She, she, she made a meal of the waste levy proposal when it was argued. Uh, she made a meal of the container deposit scheme. Uh, and, and the only reason you could argue that Adani became such a huge federal election issue was the way her department intervened in the black-throated Finch management plan that you and I, Peter, have spoken about a few times now. Uh, they, they interfered in that process. They, they, they politicised it. Uh, and in the end, it's cost them dearly. And now it is, it is so clear that, that the, the minister doesn't support this decision, that, that she did not want the mine approved. She wanted uh, a shortened government, hopefully, to knock it on the head, and that hasn't happened. A a a and from what she's been commenting in those videos, <coughs> uh, you know, she, she just can't support the decision. Look, there's a Westminster tradition of uh, ministerial responsibility and, and competency. Now, there's all these arguments about women in politics, but we can't treat a woman minister any differently than we treat a male minister. And any male minister would generally get the sack uh, for breaking ranks twice like that. She should go. There's absolutely no doubt about that. 